Zelle transactions are instant and irreversible. Once you send it, it is hard to get it back. If you unknowingly pay a scammer, the bank says that's a payment you authorize, and so under law, they're not obligated to refund your money. And that's what some lawmakers have a problem with. Tracy was looking to buy a puppy online. She put down a deposit. We need you to send the $350 to care for the vet. Through Zelle. Immediately, my phone and my husband's phone went off for the fraud department at the bank, which I'm totally glad. Tracy claims she called her bank to verify. I had her check the account. Um, and she said, everything is fine. There doesn't seem to be any scam here. You're okay to send it. But Tracy never received the puppy. The seller took her money, blocked her online, and cut off all communication. She was fighting to get her money back. Most of the time you don't get your Zelle back because it's like giving cash which I thought it was going to be the safest thing. The Let ABC 15 No team stepped in taking action. We reached out to Tracy's bank and we were able to get her money back. But that's not always the case for thousands who have been duped on payment app platforms. I see people that get scammed and I'm like, that would never happen to me because I think I'm more aware. Consumers reported losing $210 million to scammers on payment apps and services in 2023. In August, there was a Senate hearing to discuss whether or not banks that offer Zelle are doing enough to protect its customers because those who are ripped off are rarely reimbursed. They didn't have my back on it because I think they should have caught it. A proposed bill would fill in the loopholes to existing laws and give more protection to consumers defrauded into making authorized payments. And the banks of victims could recoup their money from the banks receiving the fraudulent funds. But those against the bill say it's the criminal's fault, not the banks, and argue the law could force bank institutions to hand down more fees to customers. A Zelle spokesperson in a statement says in part, Unfortunately, changing the laws to require reimbursement of consumer authorized transactions does not address the root problem and would do nothing to reduce scams attempted against the American consumer. So what are your thoughts? To find out more ways to protect yourself from scams and to read Zell's full statement, you can go to our website, abc15.com slash consumer for more. I'm Christelle Bell. Got a consumer problem? Let ABC 15 know.